On May 8th, I will take my final vows in the Society of Jesus here in this chapel, the Chapel of the North American Martyrs at Jesuit High School. These are my final vows. So I took first vows in the novitiate, which were vows of poverty and chastity and obedience. And those were perpetual vows on my part. But in a sense, I've been on probation with the Society of Jesus for the last 19 years. And that probation ends with me taking my final vows now. That's a little bit different from being ordained, which I was ordained in 2011 to the priesthood. That's a sacrament. So that's a visible sign of an invisible grace, the ability to minister to God's people uh, through the sacraments. Uh, vows are in fact a decision to live a certain lifestyle, a lifestyle which says that I will not own any property uh, personally, uh, that I will uh, remain unmarried, and that I will be obedient to my superiors. And those, those lifestyle choices are supposed to make me better and free me up to be able to serve God in the society of Jesus better. So myself and several other priests will be celebrating Mass together uh, with the whole school. Uh, during that Mass, you'll see something a little bit different, is that you know, after the, the Eucharist has been consecrated, after uh, we have the body and blood of Jesus Christ up there on that altar, I will come around to the front of the altar and on my knees I will profess these final vows. And I'll say them out loud, everyone will be able to hear as the provincial who will be here with us will be holding up the host, uh, the, the body of Christ. So I'll make those vows that way. Everybody will receive communion and then after Mass, myself and the other Jesuits will move into another place and I will finish up by taking a few more vows which are important for Jesuits to take in this final vows stage. Uh, after I take those final vows, there's no necessary renewal of those vows for myself. Uh, those vows that I took originally that were perpetual vows that were to go on forever uh, have, are still going on inside of me, but the Society of Jesus will have received those vows in a very final way. Okay, so, the, so vows of poverty and chastity and obedience are all there to help me be more apostolically effective and really ultimately to save my soul, right? To live this way is good for me and for those people that I serve. The fact that I won't be uh, able to own any personal property should make it easier for me to make decisions about uh, the use of property. For myself or for other people or for the good of other people. Uh, the fact that I am not married and won't father any children, you know, th this is supposed to make me a better, more apostolically available person to all people and not have to worry about the responsibilities that I would have if I had my own family. Even obedience means that I won't be as tempted to go out and do my own thing according to my ego or according to my own plans for myself. That I'll be following uh, the, the dictates of my superior as if it were Jesus Christ himself uh, telling me what I needed to be doing in the society. So during that Mass, while I'm taking vows, I hope that you're praying for me, right? I hope that you pray that I can serve the people of God better. I hope that you pray that uh, the Society of Jesus finds a good way to make use of, of everything that I can offer it. Uh, I also hope that you open up your own heart to God. Maybe God is calling you to think about major life decisions for yourself. And, you know, in that regard, I hope that you ask God especially for the grace to not be afraid, right? And to, to be bold in the way that you can serve God and to purify your own desires so that all that you do might be directed to God's greater glory.